Hello everybody and welcome back to Mind Tech with me, Carburetor. Today we are going to be looking at the top 5 auto droppers. Now I actually just kind of fibbed there, there's actually 7. However, I feel a couple of them are redundant so I don't feel right saying top 7, but I'll let you pick which two. But anyway, let's get cracking I can show you guys all of the best auto droppers on the server. Now this first one, any hardcore Minecraft player should be able to recognize. Um, this is the design I believe was created by Cube Hamster but I got it from Mumbo Jumbo. Now, I don't know who originally created it. I really don't care. All that cares is that I'm showcasing it for you guys here today. So if we take a quick look, basically how this one works is this dropper uh, gets items put into it by these hoppers. Now, you don't really need this hopper here, but it just empties out the chest quicker so you can fill it up quicker. But I suppose it really doesn't matter because after you get rid of these five uh, areas right here it's kind of redundant but I like being OCD um, so basically from here then it takes an output from this dropper and it powers this redstone knob up here now redstone dust is a little bit special in that it powers an area around it so this block is powered this block is powered and so is the air kind of around it here but what's important is this block being powered. With this block powered, it then powers this dropper, which causes it to fire a shot. Uh, if we go around back here, this redstone dust then gets powered, which does the same thing where this red or this block is powered, this block is powered, and this block is powered, along with kind of the air here, but that's kind of redundant because we only care about this block. This block then powers this repeater, which then goes back into this comparator, which is set into subtract and allows it to cycle like a clock. And if we go in and put some items in, you can see it cycles pretty well. It's a little slow, but it is what it is. It's kind of the first one, but you know me, I love going fast. So I actually adapted it to go a little bit faster in that it has dual droppers that allow it to go basically as fast as it can. And it works on the same principle, except this time we aren't relying on redstone dust power or relying on these observers. So essentially these comparators power this redstone which triggers these observers which fires the dropper. If we go back over here then, those comparators empower this redstone which feeds into this block and this block. So you kind of get a double action which means you could sometimes get a clicking action. Like if this dropper gets a bunch of non-stackable items and this one gets stackable items, it'll sit here and cycle these ones out while this one doesn't fire. But it's a petty price to pay. But if we go back in here, it then comes through, powers this repeater, power, er, and then it goes into this comparator, set into subtract, which then causes it to cycle like a clock, which causes this to cycle also. So if we go back through and throw some items in, you'll see it actually works, and it works pretty well, and it definitely works a lot faster than this other one. Now we get into some of the more simpler ones, some of the more basic ones. And this is one that I actually really love to use just because of how flat and flush it sits. Now I actually got this from Exuma when I was building my see-through glass elevator item or item elevator and I don't know where he got it from but that's where I got it from and essentially it creates that same clock that we're dealing with over there here. This comparator takes an output, fires it into this into this repeater. The repeater power amplifies it up to 15 power which then comes through and causes it to cycle here while at the same time that cycling causes this repeater to fire and if we throw the items in you see it works on basically the same principle. Now this one's a little bit wider than that other one but it's also a lot shorter so it's a lot more helpful but again this is slow so I decided to amp it up and make it so that we have let me grab all the stone out of here so we now have two feeding into it. Now this is actually the one that I have in Exuma's Let's Play Minecraft server. And I have to say so far it's actually worked very well. It's a lot quicker than most of the other ones here that only use one, obviously. But if we go through, you'll see it works in much the same scenario, but we cut out that repeater and we just had the redstone come up and power this block. Which does mean it's a little bit taller than it probably needs to be but it's the same size as this double one over here and in my opinion it's a lot simpler to build so if we collect all of our stone here 
we can then go over to here. Now this is one I was just trying to experiment with a couple of uh, double dropper designs and this one gets rid of the knobs up here but again it's too tall. So it's four wide, too tall, whereas this one is four wide and too tall all the way up to here. But if you need like a flush wall here, this is definitely the one that's better for you. So if we go back through here, you'll see, now this one works much the same principle that this one does, where it just has the observers up there, which then detect updates from these redstone. But otherwise, I mean, it works very well. It works very simply and it doesn't really give too many problems. But again, I just don't like this being too tall. What happens if you need to fit it under someplace? And this is where this design comes in. Now, originally I had it going up here, but for some reason, it just didn't like that. The comparators got out of sync and they were firing and unfiring so quickly that they actually um, got out of sync and it just ended up solidly powering it but by doing this we were able to separate it and what's actually really nice about this design is that if one of these hoppers gets a bunch of stackable items and one of these gets a bunch of unstackable items it actually won't sit here and keep on clicking it'll be a lot quicker and you won't have to listen to that clicking sound which i don't have my sounds on for that reason actually because i don't like listening to the sounds of minecraft i don't like hearing clicking and redstone firing and pistons and whatnot but it's six to one half dozen or the other but what this one is really important is just how small it is those don't need to be on subtract there i don't know i don't know why i had them on there but if we go through here you'll see this fires just really quickly and this works on the same principle that these comparators can create their own style of clock if we go through here and throw a lever on and set this into subtract you'll see this creates a very fast redstone clock. And essentially what's happening is the redstone's coming in here, or this is a level 15 redstone power, so it's coming in here and it's putting out 15 right here. 15 then gets to 14 and then 13, and then it goes into this comparator, which is set to subtract. Now what subtract basically does is it takes the power coming in here and it subtracts that power from this power. So with this being 13 and this being 15, 15 minus 13 is two, so it then puts two out here. But then two doesn't have enough to make it all the way around. So you have two, one, zero, and it gets back in here. So it kicks it back up. Now you could actually, I think you can actually do it this way and it still works, but it also works this way. And essentially, if you actually hit F3 and look here, right up in the upper corner right here, you'll actually see it firing 15-2, 15-2, 15-2. And if you look here, and all of a sudden I feel like I'm playing cribbage, 15-2, 15-4, 15-6, But uh, if you look here, it's 13-0, 13-0, 13-0. Uh, and if you come out a little bit and put down a repeater, you'll actually get a very fast redstone clock. And you can actually, uh, you can also throw an observer in there and make it even quicker, but it's so quick that I don't actually think it works that well. But um, the very last design works off of this very same philosophy, but let's say you don't have enough space to fit that in. This is just as fast as any of the other double hopper or, or any of the other double droppers, but you need to have two hopper lines going into it, otherwise it actually can't keep up the hoppers can't keep up but if we go through here and just throw a bunch of items in you'll see it starts firing really quickly and it's also really flat it's really flush the only thing i don't like about it is that it's five blocks long kind of like this one this one's five blocks long whereas these other ones are only four long but you kind of take everything with a grain of salt personally i think i'm going to be using this one in the future just because of how flat it is and how nice it is and how compact it is but that's kind of why I'm showing these off because you can use whichever one you want and you can use the one that best suits you. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. If you really liked it, please make sure to subscribe. But I am Ninja's Carburetor and I will see you all next week.